In this video, we create a vector graphics detail view, apply custom rendering, and ultimately create a high-resolution image that we might place on the cover of our manual. We're going to use the Cover Image view in our Views tab. I already have it activated. To create the detail view, turn on the Technical Illustration Workshop. On your Home tab, click Technical Illustration. In this task pane is where you can create your vector graphics files. We need to select particular actors that we want a detailed view of, so we'll go to the Assembly tab, and under Selection Sets, choose Rear Shock. Notice the actors are selected in the viewport. To create a detail view, select Detail View, Create, and now we have a vector graphics detail view. We can close the Technical Illustration task pane. Let's enhance our detailed views. First, we'll make the detail view a little bit smaller. Now we'll move it into place. Then we'll select both detail views. So I'll hold down Control and select the other one. And I'm going to change the color property to yellow. This way, the Arc Tooltip handles, the Arc Tooltip leaders, highlight a little bit better. Now let's apply custom rendering. To apply custom rendering, go to the Render tab of our ribbon interface, and under Mode, choose Custom. Custom rendering allows you to render different actors in different styles. So we want to render the body in a different style so we can see inside. So select the model body, and in its properties, find Custom Rendering. And we're going to change its priority to minus 1, so it goes into the background. And we'll change its opacity to 100 to make it a little bit easier to see inside. Notice how the actors on the inside are rendered first, and then the body is rendered afterwards, allowing us to see inside more easily. Now let's publish out our high-resolution image. We'll switch back to our Home tab and click High-Resolution Image. For pixel width, we'll type 4000. We could preview the image now, but we're going to go right to Save As. And I'm going to pick a raster graphics file type. I could choose Bitmap, JPEG, TIFF, or PNG. I leave it as JPEG, use the default name, and click Save. When it's complete, we can show a preview of the image. And there's the image.